or the aftermath of a second round of snow and ice is making this weekend about cleanup. We stop by parts of the Quad Cities to see what homeowners are dealing with. It is our top story tonight. The area received more than seven inches of snow combined over those two storms this week. Some roads are still a slushy mess as crews have been working around the clock. Local 4's Ryan Risky spoke with a former Rock Island resident who drove through the first storm to visit his family. My goodness, it was terrible. The Quad Cities was hit twice this week with winter storms bringing in snow and ice. Bill Sullivan used to live in the area and his son lives in Rock Island. He was on his way to visit for the holidays when he ran into the storm as he was getting closer to the Quad Cities. That was scary. I was coming up uh, from Texas driving a Prius, uh, not the kind of car you drive in this kind of weather out here. It's a South Texas car. And the road just, uh, I-35, the conditions just deteriorated dramatically, faster than I could ever imagine. I was behind a, a semi and they're just plowing the path for me. As the conditions continued to get worse, Sullivan realized it was not safe to continue driving. I had to get off the road to find a, um, a hotel. And my son over the phone did that, who lives here, and um, I guided me. I, I was, GPS guided me to that, and I was stranded overnight. Adding to the difficulty of driving in the snow that night was the amount of traffic on the highway. Many semis on the road, some of them, one of them was carrying brand new cars. Kaboom! On the side, and uh, hadn't, what is it on the side, but it's in the ditch. One of Sullivan's favorite things to do when he comes back to the Quad Cities is to go for a walk across the Centennial Bridge. But right now, he isn't able to do that. You couldn't walk out. You couldn't go outside. Uh, you know, ice covered snow. You fall. I, I had a shoulder surgery last year. You know, three tendons torn. I was in the cask and everything. You go through something like that, you're very aware. <laughs> I can't fall. In Rock Island, Ryan Risky, Local 4 News. That's one way to come home. Now check out this crash scene 